What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Zahid. It is bright and early. It's what, what, 6.30 in the morning, something like that? I got my co-pilot right here with me. And we are driving to LA from San Francisco. And uh, we're picking up some, some parts for the S2000. As you guys saw in the last video, uh, we need to rebuild the car. It's gonna be a pretty epic rebuild. So stay tuned, let's get it. I'll spare you guys from my long monologue as we drove down to La Habra, California, where Formula S is located. The important things to know is that we're picking up bumpers for my S2000, and while we're down here, we might as well try and get tickets to UFC 298, Volkanovski vs. Ilya Teporia in Anaheim, California. This was a one-day trip, so you know we had to make the most of it. Alright guys, well, we finally made it to Southern California. We're here in La Habra um, at Formula S. That should give you a hint of what we got cooking for the S2000. Cool, are you recording? All right, we're just gonna run and gun. So yeah. thanks again, I appreciate yeah. all your help over the years. Anytime. For those of you guys who don't know, uh, this shop has helped me source a lot of products for my car since uh, 2018. I bought my Mugen SS wing paint matched in Silverstone. <laughs> And that oh, kind of- Oh yeah, I remember that. That, that, was a, that was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. a while. But that was the first time I ever heard about your Instagram page uh -huh. or anything. I didn't know about the shop before that. And then after that, every time something popped up that I had my eye on, it was like a no brainer. Can you tell the people a little bit about uh, who you are, uh, when Formula S started up and what you guys do? My name is Alan. Uh, I've had an S2000 since 2001. So we've pretty much come full circle from brand new from the factory cars all the way to total uh, refreshes at this point now since the cars are over 25 years old and they need a lot of work. I'm so passionate about the car, we want to keep them on the road. There really hasn't been any new cars on the market that I've really um, gravitated towards and I've just always liked the S2000 and I want to continue to maintain them so that they can drive just as well as where they came from new from the factory. Because the parts are so hard to find, or some of them are getting discontinued, um, it's a challenge to, to maintain these cars at a high level. So we end up having to source a lot of the parts from different countries, Japan and Europe, just to get them here in one place so that if we do get a car in here, we have everything available to kind of get it cars in and out in a timely manner. It's, a, it's really a challenge, but uh, the end result is pretty much having everything in one place that we could like build an S2000 from the ground up if we had to, worst case scenarios. I didn't mention this earlier, but a lot of the drivetrain components, the chassis components that I needed to replace on my car after the accident came from here. So I got a brand new subframe, brand new control arms, brand new tow arm. Um, there's probably something else down the line I'm gonna need. Uh, but he had everything available. I, you have no idea how happy it made me to see my shop put a brand new subframe in the car when I came and looked at it. It's like the crisp new black, you yeah, know? I was yeah, like, yeah. oh my God. So one other thing I wanted to ask you about is I noticed on the website and also obviously the race car, uh, it's a, a GR86, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, with the S2000s kind of becoming a little bit more rare and, you know, like a difficult to source parts, are you guys kind of transitioning in a little bit or just trying to take on both platforms since they're both so, so good on track? We're always looking for a newer car to track. Uh, the S2000, the, the prices of the cars uh, becoming, some of them are collector grade territory or you just don't want to um, damage something that can't be replaced. Tell me that's that's like the main purpose. If if I could still go out and buy a new Honda S2000, then I would still track one. So uh, where are you guys located, and um, where can they find you guys online? You can follow us on Instagram. Um, our handle is uh, shop.formula.s, uh, and then actually our phone number and our website is going to be up here on the banner. Um, www.formula-s.net. If I lived in, in Southern California, anywhere in Southern California, this would be the only place I bring my S2000. So yeah, hopefully I'll be back again. Maybe we'll mm -hmm. pick up some more cool parts. Cool, man. Well, thanks again. You're I appreciate welcome. it. 
You're an absolute legend, dude. <laughs> You're an absolute legend. Thanks again to Alan and the rest of the team at Formula S. I've said this before and I'll say it again. As car enthusiasts, it's important to support companies that help keep our specialty cars on the road, and there might not be a better example of that than Formula S. So after a shop tour, we wrapped up at Formula S and eventually found our way to Anaheim, California for UFC 298. Listen guys, if any of my subscribers are fight fans, I highly recommend going to a UFC event live. The energy is absolutely insane in these arenas and the production value is next level. After a very busy overnight trip, it was time to head back to the Bay to take a closer look at the ASM parts I picked up. Okay, so I am back in the Bay Area, back at headquarters here at the warehouse, and I wanna show you guys all the details of the ASM products that I picked up from Formula S, including the stuff in the box that you guys have not seen yet. But before I do that, I just wanna say thank you. I wanna say thank you to all the people that commented on the last video about getting in a wreck. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, right? The accident sucked, but that wasn't even like the worst thing that happened that week. But yeah, man, uh, it was a rough couple weeks um, before I had posted the video. And once I posted the video, everyone just had all this like awesome positive feedback. And I thought, I thought the internet was a pretty toxic place, but apparently the people that subscribe to my channel are pretty damn cool. Shout out to you guys. Okay, um, enough. I'm not gonna waste any more time here. Let's get into these ASM parts and let's look at them in detail. Okay, first up is this ASM front bumper. I forget the actual name. I believe there's an 04 and an 07. Don't quote me on that. But um, it's basically the difference between narrow body and wide body. But as you can tell, this style is pretty damn close to factory. It's actually not that far off. Um, the only difference is, is that these vents are a little bit further pushed out, allowing you to actually run some cooling to your front brakes. And if you guys know anything about ASM, you know that the fitment is uh, pretty much always on point. Now this is where things get a little bit spicy, I guess you could say. Look at this. I don't think there is a more perfect rear bumper for the Honda S2000. These cutouts allow airflow, but they don't break up the lines of the body. And uh, it's uh, paired with this little mini rear diffuser, I guess you can call it. Okay, so this is where things get interesting because uh, I actually haven't seen what is in this box. I know what's in it, I just haven't actually looked at it yet. Let's start off by taking a look at what seems to be the rear spoiler. The rear dry carbon spoiler. Oh my God. It needs a little bit of uh, polishing clearly and maybe a clear coat, but dude. This weighs absolutely nothing. And these, maybe not the most important thing in the world. These are the wet carbon brake ducts. So they fit into the front bumper. Uh, I mean, it looks amazing, obviously. Very, very beautiful carbon piece. Is it the most important? Probably not. But does it complete the front bumper? Yes, definitely. And uh, let's look at the last piece that's in this box. This is the front lip that will sit on the front bumper. Oh my God. Do you guys see this? Oh my God. Let me show you guys that I ain't messing around. Obviously you knew I wasn't messing around because I went to Formula S, but come on, dude. I'm so excited. I'm just so excited to get this thing all completed. Well guys, thanks so much for sticking around till the end. Because you did, I'll give you guys a little teaser. There's like a 90% chance I'm gonna pick up an ASM hood as well. We'll see, maybe in a few months when uh, finances are a little better because uh, obviously none of this stuff is cheap. And um, if you made it this far in the video, help your boy out, subscribe to the channel like the video, 
support the channel. Until next time, peace out guys, take care.